Calvert Hall has been educating high school boys since 1845, moving from its original location in downtown Baltimore to here in Baltimore County, and is the first LaSallian school in the entire country. There's two main factors about Calvert Hall that really sticks out um, from any other school, and that's the idea of um, the brotherhood we have here and the opportunities we have here. John Moses is a senior at Calvert Hall, ready to head off to college next year, but already sort of missing the school and the classmates that have prepped him for this next step. I kind of just saw people going places. I talked with the other upperclassmen who were super helpful. The reason I joined Speech and Debate was because of, uh, of an upperclassman um, telling me about it, and uh, same thing with Model UN and um, peer ministry. I mean, I met them through all the retreats I did, and they ran them. So the student arrives the first day of high school is when they begin um, this this part of their journey academically as well as socially. But it's also thinking about what might happen after they leave Calvert Hall. Elizabeth Almeter, director of school and college counseling, is definitely familiar with what comes next. So I come from the college side, so prior to my arrival at Calvert Hall, I used to recruit um, not only locally, but on a, a broader scale in the United States, and Calvert Hall was one of the schools that I would come visit and, and meet uh, prospective students and their families. And I can't, I say this and I say it again and again, the variety of students here, the backgrounds, the talents in the classroom and out of the classroom um, drew me back. The, this individuals with such a different backgrounds. Um, this was a school that I noticed on the road because of the talent and it was a great fit in terms of coming back when an opportunity came up in the college counseling world. Opportunity is a word you hear a lot around Calvert Hall's beautiful campus. The amount of clubs there were here, it's, it's almost ridiculous. There's something for everyone. The, the ability to start your own class. Um, you can start your own clubs. I've seen uh, kids do it. Um, my chorus teacher let me teach music theory for a whole entire semester. I had, um, while I was a sophomore, I taught a section in um, AP, or no, Honors U.S. History because um, I uh, knew a section about Western Road expansion pretty well. So I was teaching juniors about something that um, I had done because I had lived in other states before this. The rigor is there from AP courses, honors courses, academic electives, but there's also the opportunity to find the right fit as a student that's exploring interest. They build that solid foundation that they've been exposed to different subjects. They've worked on their time management, their study skills. And a flexible schedule, one akin to what a college student's would be, helps make it all happen. It's built in that a student is not going to a class each and every period. There are free spots that are available in these, in these days. We think it's a great thing because students can then uh, meet with teachers. They can um, go to an academic resource center, a math resource center, so to get support, assistance, tutoring, um, to complement what they've been learning in the classroom, especially when a lot of our students are involved in activities out of class. And new activities are starting to join, like speech and debate and theater, all that. Uh, it becomes more closely knit. The whole aspect with brotherhood, um, the, the retreats we have here, the peer ministry program we have here, which works so well, the, uh, the immersion trips we have. I went to Belize this past summer and built, I have so many strong friends from that trip and that was a huge milestone in my life. So just the opportunities in the brotherhood here is absolutely amazing. Interested in learning more? You can do so. Just head to their open house Sunday, November 11th from 12 to 4 or check out calverthall.com. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.